On the previous video we showed how we framed the soffit with metal studs to hide the AC ductwork. What we didn't show is the closet we used to install the handler along with the piping going to the AC unit outside. Hopefully this video will give someone an idea how to install a central AC system in an old building. Here's the new air handler to be installed and there's the metal stand. The best place we could install it is this walk-in closet and right in this corner where the shelves meet. This hatches for access to some of the plumbing upstairs and will not be in the way. And we will still have plenty of room in this closet. This clip was taken just before the installation started. Here's the ducts being installed and the filter grill close to the floor that goes to the other side of the wall for air intake to the handler. And here's the finished installation of the filter grill and the air handler in the walk-in closet. It took less room than I thought. It will need a little dressing up to hide the ductwork and drain pipe. Going outside to the HVAC unit. This air handler unit has a slot for a filter as well, if you choose to use it in combination with the one in the wall grill. This PVC cap is for the pan drain pipe going outside. And there's a quick glimpse of the HVAC unit just installed outside, which is behind the wall of the walk-in closet, so it's very convenient to do all the piping. Back to the closet. As I mentioned before, we need to keep this closet functional as much as possible by dressing it up and protect the air handler at the same time. We start by reinstalling the shelves we took down, but cut down the areas now occupied by the air handler. We also reposition the brackets over and leaving plenty of space for the unit to be serviced and change the filter. One side is done. Next we cut the old shelf on the other side and pre-drill some screw holes to avoid splitting. Then countersink to hide the screw head. I used a big drill bit for this but you can get a countersink bit at any hardware store. Screw it in and install the shelf bracket same as we did on the other shelf. some more leftover old shelf board. I had a piece from the ceiling to the top of the shelf to separate the side duct work coming out of the unit. Using 1x2 strips, I box framed the duct, added a 1x2 strip to the ceiling using construction glue and a brad nailer, and did the same with the studs. This is the first time using this brad nailer on a 45 angle, and it worked real well. A little construction glue for good measure doesn't hurt. Then using a decorative quarter inch plywood, I cover the frame and hide the duct coming out of the air handle. Again, the brad nailer is the best tool to use instead of screws that will be hard to hide later on and split the wood. Using the decorative quarter inch plywood again, we cut two panels to fit the exterior of the air return box. Not only for cosmetics, but to protect the insulation board that was used around the metal frame which holds the unit off the floor. I applied it to the insulation board using construction glue and used lumber to hold it pressed in place. I repeat the same for the other side and brad nailed the corners of the two panels as well. And we wait for it to dry. We measured the pipes exposed there using 3 quarter inch by 12 inch board we start cutting it to cover the lines going to the AC unit outside placing the first 12 inch board on the floor and then the top board to finish boxing it in we measure from the wall to the pipes going up to the unit to notch the pipes and there it is but we notice the bottom board will be about an inch short so I first screwed a 1x2 strip to hide the top board into the wall studs. Then brad nailed the top board to it. 
and using a baseboard molding I cut it the same size as the floorboard and added at the top to make up for the one inch gap. I marked where to overlap it to the floorboard, added some glue, placed it on the marked line and brad nailed it, bent the nails that went through, made sure it fit, and after cleaning the floor tiles real well, we glued a few 2x4 treated blocks to the floor. This will prevent the floorboard from being kicked in. And nailed the floorboard to the top board and then to the glued floor strips. I think this molding gives it a nice touch. Now, to avoid items from falling through the corner notch, we do a corner box glued and nailed plus a top cover to finish it off and you add a step to use for anything you want lady shoes will fit perfect on it the last touch is to paint and we now have a perfectly functional walk-in closet with the air handler this closet really worked out well for this AC installation perfect location when you really think about it having the outside wall to connect it to the AC unit outside and the opposite wall for the return for the main living area what I forgot to mention before the electric breaker box is in the washroom that's on the other side of this wall making it very convenient to get power to both units can't beat that as always I hope this helps someone out there and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video. And you all have a great day.